Have you ever wondered how your computer efficiently manages multiple tasks at once? The answer lies in the fascinating world of data structures, specifically stacks and queues. These are not just some abstract ideas, but the secret source behind your computer's multitasking capabilities. They operate under rules defined by stack ADT and queue ADT. From balancing symbols to converting infix expressions to postfix, these powerful tools are used in myriad applications. Stay tuned to unravel the magic of stacks and queues. Imagine a stack of plates. You can only add or remove the plate from the top, right? The Stack Abstract Data Type, or Stack ADT, works in a similar fashion. It's a collection of elements that follows the last in first out principle, or LIFO for short. Just like when you add a plate to the top of the stack and remove it from the top, the Stack ADT allows you to add an element or push it and remove an element or pop it from the top. There's also a peak operation that lets you see what's on top without removing it like sneaking a glance at the top plate without taking it off. So where does this stack come in handy? Imagine you're balancing symbols in a complex equation. The stack ADT can help to match opening and closing symbols, ensuring that for every open, there's a close. It's like a diligent organizer, making sure every plate has its place. But that's not all. The stack ADT is also a mathematical wizard. It can convert infix arithmetic expressions, where operators are sandwiched between operands, like in 2 plus 3, into postfix expressions where operators follow operands, like 2 3 plus. This conversion is essential in computer science, as it helps in evaluating expressions more efficiently. Just like a disciplined stack of plates, the stack ADT ensures orderly processing. Remember the last time you stood in a queue, the first one to get in is the first one to get out. Now, imagine this concept transformed into a data structure in computer science. That's exactly what QADT or abstract data type is all about. The QADT is like a line at your favorite coffee shop. New elements or customers join the queue at the end in an operation we call on queue. The element at the front, who's been patiently waiting their turn, is the first one to leave the queue, a process called dequeue. And to find out who's up next, we simply check the front of the queue. The queue ADT operates on the principle of FIFO. First in, first out. Just like a real-life queue. But wait, there's more. Ever seen a circular queue? Think of a revolving door, constantly in motion. In a circular queue, the last element points back to the first, creating a continuous loop. And then there's DQ, a double-ended queue where elements can be added or removed from either end, offering even more flexibility. Now, you might be wondering, where do we use this in real life? Queue ADTs are everywhere in computers. They manage tasks, handle processes, and even help your printer queue up documents to be printed. Just as a queue ensures fairness, the QADT ensures efficient task management. It's a fair player in the game of data structure, always keeping things in order. Aren't stacks and queues fascinating? It's like stepping into a world where everything functions in a beautifully organized manner. You've got stacks, these neat piles of data that grow and shrink with LIFO. Last in, first out. It's like a stack of pancakes. You eat the one on top first, right? They're so versatile, helping us balance symbols, evaluate arithmetic expressions, convert infix to postfix, and even manage function calls. And then there are queues, our orderly lines of data operating with FIFO. First in, first out. Imagine a line of people waiting for a bus. The first person to arrive is the first one to board, right? Queues make our lives easier with their circular queues and dequeues and their applications are just as vast as stacks. These are just the basics. There's so much more to explore to understand the intricate mechanisms that make our digital world run so smoothly. It's like a never-ending journey into the heart of computer science. If you enjoyed this journey through stacks and queues, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more exciting insights into the world of computer science. It's a world where you always have something new to learn, something new to explore. Remember, knowledge stacks up and never queues.